Hi guys, I am still up. Um, I've been up since 3am this morning because I watched a YouTube tutorial video by Kashira and um, and it re-inspired me to try finger coiling again. So I stayed up after watching a video at 3am this morning. It's now 11 minutes past 11 on Saturday morning and I'm still <laughs> finger coiling my hair. Um, in her video she said it took her three hours, her hair is way longer than mine, it's absolutely gorgeous but clearly I need to work on my technique or something because this is taking me way more than three hours. Anyway, um, I wanted to try different products actually but um, like a couple of weeks ago but when I tried it it didn't work out too well so I figured okay I'm just gonna leave it, like, I thought I was getting it wrong because it was really bushy at the roots and didn't seem to be holding so I was like okay I must be doing something wrong um but also I don't think my hair was particularly green with those products so I've stopped using those now um now I'm using tonight when I decided to do it I decided to sort of re-moisturize my hair a little bit with um this Kerry Care Hair Milk the daily hair sustainer I never tried it before today but um well actually now it's yesterday isn't it then I've used my samples, finally used my samples of oh, that's right now. Curls Unleashed set, set It Off Curl Boosting Jelly. So yeah, I had like four samples of this. I've gone through two and I'm two of these sample tubs and I'm about to hit the third one. I'm just about to get to the third one now. With uh don't know if you can see with this much hair left. Which ain't loads. But yeah, this finger coiling thing is interesting. It's really easy, but it's um, it's really easy, but it's really, really time consuming. Like really time consuming. So I think why I was put off, like I said before, was because I thought it was bushy at the roots when I was doing the, the finger coils. But then when I looked at um, Kashira's video and I also looked at um, Sherry J's video as well and it's actually kind of cool to not have it like 100% stuck to the scalp kind of thing at the root so it's kind of nice to have a bit of volume there so now I'm not so concerned with like it being a lack of perfection to have it being a bit poofy at the root so that's cool the other thing is but I still try to get it like as far down as I can just so it holds but I'm not so concerned as I was before. And by the way, I'm going to upload this video, but I'm going to apologise in advance if the audio doesn't sync in time because I've been having troubles with my Mac and the audio syncing. So, but I'll still upload this one anyway, but I'm just, I apologise in advance just in case. If I take down one side, see the sort of thing that it's looking like, I'm not even 100% convinced that I'm bang on it, but it's alright. It's, it's, I don't know if you can get the definition. I'm not too sure how clear it's coming out. But yeah, you get the idea, I think. Um, yeah, so it's kind of cool to play around with. It feels a bit like, I've always wondered what it'd be like to have locks. I think it's going to be like the closest I come to experiencing that, so that's quite cool. Um, I'm hoping I can do a coil out on this once I've finished too, which will probably hopefully have a nice curl. But I don't think I, I was planning to do that. I was planning to finish the finger coiling before this morning and then later on this afternoon take it out and have the nice coils. But I don't think it's going to happen now. So it is what it is and we'll just see how it goes. But anyway, I figured I'd let you know I'm trying out the style and this is how it's going. So um, when I'm finished, I'll post you the finished result pictures or something on Instagram on, at the end of this video. But yeah, I better keep going. <laughs> I want to finish before midday. <laughs> Bye, guys. Dime mujer